At the top tonight, South Texas sheriffs meeting with Governor Greg Abbott today in Corpus Christi for a roundtable discussion on border security. Yeah, it's been the focus of the governor's main re-election theme. 19 border county sheriffs, including Nueces County Sheriff J.C. Hooper, were all part of that discussion at the Ortiz Center. Our Bill Churchwell was there, he joins us now with the table. Bill? The sheriffs expressing a shared struggle, the influx of migrants and drugs smuggled across the border and into their counties. Nueces County Sheriff J.C. Hooper was there and spoke about how the deadly drug fentanyl has even been smuggled into his jail. Every sheriff in Texas is a border sheriff uh, because of the open border policies allowed by the Biden administration. Surrounded by South Texas law enforcement, Governor Greg Abbott wasting no time criticizing the Biden administration's border policy, a policy he says has left the state and local law enforcement to take action. The only people who are really stepping up and doing anything about that crisis are the people surrounding me right now. The governor highlighting a surge of illegal border crossings, the most ever, he says. He also focused on the deadly drug fentanyl being smuggled into the U.S. Just Texas DPS alone has seized enough fentanyl to kill every man, woman, and child in the entire United States of America. We first told you about the impact fentanyl is having on the Coastal Bend this week. A recent report from the Nueces County Medical Examiner's Office shows a dramatic increase in deaths, going from only three in 2019 to 31 just last year. It's hitting us right between the eyes. It's hitting home with our young people and uh, we don't see an end in sight. Something has to be done at that border. Sheriff J.C. Hooper says he has seen the fentanyl crisis here in the county and even inside his own jail. It comes in as easily as sprinkling some liquid, <laughs> liquefied fentanyl on paper, and it's extremely difficult to detect. And so now we're spending money on technology to try to address that issue. The sheriff says several pieces of mail test positive each week. Our, our mail officer, pretty much has to wear a hazmat suit. Border security has been at the forefront of the governor's re-election theme as he continues to bus migrants to places like Washington, D.C. Recently, he classified drug cartels as terrorists. This as he pushes to make it a law to charge someone with murder if they knowingly provide fentanyl-laced drugs that lead to someone's death. In the United States Constitution, that says it's the federal government's responsibility to take care of this issue. Now, the governor's visit comes just days before early voting begins. While he repeatedly took jabs at the Biden administration, he did not talk about his Democratic challenger, Beto O'Rourke. Back to you. All right, Bill, thanks for that report. And